Hello and welcome to yet another video on safe dosing. In this particular question, we're going to be working on um, question number nine from your Pete's packet right out of the shell. So in looking at the question, you see that there's a physician order highlighted in yellow, a patient weight. There is a safe dose uh, range that has been given to you and unlike the previous question where it was a single number, this one's a range. So which means you need to figure out both the bottom number and the top number and if you remember from 2 to 6, I like to call these the buy one get one free questions. Uh, you also have a pharmacy's availability which has come to you in the form of a reconstitution question. So we'll do that in the second part of the, uh, to answer the second part which is calculate the amount needed. So first things first, let's see if this is a safe dose for this particular patient uh, who weighs 8 kilos. So to do that, uh, I went ahead and plugged in the 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. Uh, I'm going to put in my patient's weight. Uh, the kilograms will cancel, so that's going to give me 400 milligrams per day. So that is the 50 milligrams lower end range for this patient. So you do the same with the 100 milligrams where you plug in the patient's weight. Um, so you should end up getting 800 milligrams per day. What this is telling me is that this patient, uh, and again, you know, I love, love, love my number line. So this tells me that my patient who weighs 8 kilos can receive 400 to 800 milligrams per day as a safe dose range. So with that daily dose range figured out, let's look at what the physician has ordered for us. The physician has ordered 200 milligrams per dose. If you notice, dose and day are not the same, so we cannot make that comparison. So what we need to do is take the physician's order and multiply it by four doses because he has ordered this every six hours. So that ends up being 800 milligrams for the whole day. So another way to look at this is if you give this patient 200 milligrams every six hours, you are giving them four doses and 800 milligrams for the whole day. Now that we're talking day and day, we can go ahead and make that comparison. So this physician's order falls right on the number here. So which means it's within the range, which also means it's a safe dose. So yes, this is a safe dose and you can go ahead and give it. So now that brings us to the second part of the question, which is how much are you going to give this patient? So to calculate how much you're going to give this patient, all you're going to do is simply pick out the concentration. If you notice, it does say to dilute with 8 milliliters. You have a total 750 milligram vial of powder. All of those are not needed for the math. So mathematically, you need the concentration, which is 90 milligrams per ml. So to calculate, you're going to ask yourself, what's the final unit? It's ml. What did the physician order? 200 milligrams. What did pharmacy send me? Every ml contains 90 milligrams. And if you remember, you're going to keep the milliliters on the top because that's what you're looking for. So when you do the calculation, you should get 2.2 milliliters as your answer. So yes, it's a safe dose and I'm going to give 2.2 ml. So you basically answered both parts of the question. Uh, for those of you that don't like the day option, you can do um, the single dose option, which is very similar in that you're going to have to plug in the um, 50 milligrams per kilogram per day with the patient's weight. Now in this case, I'm going to bring it down to the single dose. So to me, in this question, one day is four doses. The reason you pick four doses, because even though the safe dosing says six to eight hours, you do have a choice here. Your choice is going to be six because that matches up the, to the physician's order. So, and if you give it every six hours, it's four doses. So your days get canceled, your kilograms get canceled, and you're left with milligrams per dose. So this particular one should give you 100 milligrams per dose. Then you go ahead and you do the same exact thing with the 100 milligrams uh, upper range. You're going to need your patient's weight. And again, you're going to say one day is four doses. And this calculation should give you 200 milligrams per dose. Again, I love those number lines. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that to let myself know that I may give my patient 100 to 200 milligrams every single dose. 
Now when I make a comparison to my physician's order, I already know that the physician has ordered a single dose. So to me, this is exciting because I have dose, I have dose, I have nothing else to do. So when you map this, the physician falls again right on the number. So he is safe or she is safe and so are you. So no matter your sweet spot, whether it's milligrams per day or milligrams per dose, you notice that it's a safe dose and you will administer 2.2 mLs to this patient. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.